What's up guys? Welcome to a special bonus Let's Play. So this is <laughs> our 999th video. So as a special celebration for the 999th... <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. <laughs> Guess what game we're playing, guys? <laughs> oh, this is too good. This is so, <laughs> so uh, you guys may know that um, we actually were planning to announce this during the 1000th video. This is going to be our next uh, main um, let's play, our main, our next main visual novel let's play after the Danganronpa series. But I thought of this the other day, and I'm like, wouldn't it be great if we did this as a 999 9 video? And the idea was far too stupid not to do it, so. Uh, we're going to create a new save file. So this is on the PlayStation Vita version of the game on the Non-Airy Games Collection, which is a... <clears throat> which basically the only purpose of the Non-Airy Games Collection is to port 999 to the Vita from the DS. Other than that, it has Virtue's Last Reward on it, but Virtue's Last Reward is already on the Vita, and it doesn't include Zero Time Dilemma. So what's the point? Why not give us all three games? I'm kind of salty about that still, but it's okay. Um... So some of you may or may not know, this is part one of the Zero Escape series, which was um, Spike's visual novel series before the Spike Chunsoft merger, correct? And, um, correct. And uh, there are a ton of parallels between this series and Danganronpa, so they have a lot in common. This one is a little bit more primitive, the gameplay is very different, um, but they share a lot in common. This one is definitely darker and more serious. I definitely enjoy this story a lot more than Danganronpa. Right, I think I think the main attraction for us in terms of Danganronpa is the um, the visuals and the characters and the espionage aspect. Um, but from a narrative standpoint, it's kind of a mess. I do like it as an like I do like the story of Dan I'll correct. I do like what? the story of Danganronpa. You what just have to really get into the world mm -hmm. to like it. So I'm assuming we're going to see a lot of parallels between the two games. Kind of. Um, this is this. I can already tell you this is a more traditional visual novel. It is absolutely um, is more. I'm okay with that. So Junpei is is Junpei our main character we're playing Here's as. Junpei. Yeah. Okay, I noticed in the opening cinematic there, um, some a character referred to him as Junpei, and I hope Whoa. to God that's not how they pronounce it because what Junpei they say no Jumpy. Jumpy, okay. I was gonna say, I hope that's not what they were saying because. I yeah, they're not, not gonna call him John Pei. Because I would be. Angry? I would be angry. <laughs> no, they, they refer to him as John Pei. <clears throat> okay. Ouch! God damn it! Ah, what the hell? So, fun fact the, um, this port also um, vo did voice acting. The DS did not have voice acting. Oh, very cool. Uh, I felt pretty far. The more you know. Uh, the more you really know. Hurt. I didn't know that until I watched Let's Play as well. So Damn. Junpei is on a ship, kind of and he has woken up violently from the top bunk by hitting his head on the metal ceiling, and has fallen to the floor. No, wait. Good job, Junpei. That's not He's it. pretty ache. He's the man. And yeah. You get ten points if you catch that it, reference. It's shaking too. Uh, anyway. Where am I? I have to finish the thumbnail for this. That's okay. You have two. You can, you can add it later. You have a week to do it. Just about. Well, oh. actually, a little more than that, probably, because it won't be until after next week when I upload uh, the panel videos from Anime Blast, because uh, that'll be recorded over the weekend. What's so that sound? true. That is a photograph of a ship that may or may not be the Titanic, and then that thing above it is. I don't know what the hell it is. When is this game supposed to take place? That's... I forgot. Five? What's this five mean? Ah, it won't open. So I, I do... What's actually, this? sometimes I really do appreciate this when they take a game that previously did not have voice acting, and they add voice acting hey, to it, like... Shin Megami Tensei Soul Hackers is a great example of that. I love the du English dub for Soul Hackers. Open the door! <sighs> huh? What the hell is this? A watch? You are number five, good sir. Like one. Five. That's that's the same as the door. So we know I know that based on the, the title of the game that there are nine persons and nine doors, 
and I'm and assuming they have nine hours to escape. Correct. You okay. would be correct in this. <laughs> How do I take so he off? is number five, and obviously he has he's the fifth person in front of the fifth door. Correct. Maybe pushing something on this will work? Nothing. Damn. Guess I'll have to force it off. I'm gonna use this to evolve my Digimon. <laughs> oh my Good. god. You know, I totally skipped off. the whole Digimon stuff. Like, never ever did. What the hell Couldn't is even the tell deal you with anything thing? about Digimon. I really, I mean, I, I used to like it as a kid, but I cannot defend the first couple of Digimon series. Actually, I'm one of the weirdos that Why really likes Digimon Frontier, the fourth series. I really, really like that series, and I wouldn't Why? mind rewatching it someday, but. Other than that, I, I can't defend me? the... I mean, some people are so nostalgic about the first two, and I cannot defend ah, them at all. Ah, my head. Huh. This is... Hold on. Uh, am I on a ship? I'm on a boat! Oh, no. I'm on I a boat! I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? What the... Oh, you are on oh, Ava's you hammer. You're kidding me. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Panic! Panic! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. They're trying to get me. <laughs> Panic! They're, they're trying to get me to remember I was a Kingsman. <laughs> it's not working. I'm not getting my memory back. Hey! Anyone! Is anyone there? Come on, if you're there, say something! It's. it's not stopping. Not good. Not good at all. Okay. I need to find a way out and fast. I'm trying to figure out who this voice is, but I have the TV volume down pretty uh, pretty low just for oh, recording oh, purposes. Junpei, seek a way out. So every room is a seek a way out. So I by guess by solving puzzles. Right. So I guess I'm just looking at this picture right here for now, right? No, you hit back. Um, well, I, I get that, but I could study this for as long as I need to. Yeah. Okay, so the water's pouring in through the window, but I can't get out through the door. There's a sink. There are some pipes. There's that water heater type thing. I have no idea what that is. There's two bunk beds. Yeah, not really a whole lot to go by. Oh. So, um... Operations during an escape. During an escape, you're restricted to an area. Your goal is to search around and to uncover a way to lock the door. There are items and hints in the room that may help you escape. I may actually, just, just a little heads up, I may actually hate this. <laughs> because I did not have a good time with the Zero Escape minigame in Danganronpa 2, which is a direct parallel to this game. Yeah, it really is. And I, I may hate it. So, uh, and because because if, if one thing... Let's see, man. What I feel like you didn't like it because it was just like out of the like blue. This game will give you like warm ups to it. Well, yeah, I think it. I can already kind of tell you it plays a little bit better in that style. Like I can select items a little bit, select items of interest a lot quicker. Hmm. Okay, screwdriver. Once you contain the item, you'll be able to go to be able to go to the item screen. Touching the item. Here's your screwdriver. Oh. It's just like Resident Evil. I've never played a Resident Evil game. Oh, the like get item inventory thing, and it shows a giant picture of it. Ah. Okay, so what can I use the screwdriver for? Maybe to open this case. Oh! Uh, we gotta figure it? out what the code is. So is this timed? No. I are, do not believe so. Are some of them timed? I don't think so. What is this? Oh, shit. Oh, 
Small key. We should probably hold on to this. So is this a mirror? It looks like a mirror. Yep, there you are. With my face. I look like a zombie. Who's the man? You the man. man. What the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I left work, headed back to my apartment, and and you and have then like a flashback. Of how you get here. I'm really excited. I'm about back. This. Not like anyone will respond. Uh, man, work was rough today. Huh? A breeze. Huh? That, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Hmm. Everything looks okay. This would definitely... I can definitely see why this would be a very fun game to play on a handheld. So I'm sure that's why the DS version was so successful. And why um, the Vita version is very attractive to me. But I had a lot of fun with Danganronpa 1 on the Vita as well. I didn't have the luxury of playing 2 on the Vita because of where I was playing. Who are... You can play the Spare Girls on the Vita. Because mm -hmm. I didn't buy the PS4 version of that shit. And I don't know if I will, unless I really get into hardcore collecting the series, which I don't know if I'll do that. Uh, Jesus, you're fine. God, I don't know what to make, what reference I want to make when looking at this character. Uh, who? The guy in the mask. Uh, I want to play a game. There, I just made a saw reference. That's good enough. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. That guy with the gas mask. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. When I get my hands on him. Well, I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. Just who was that? They said, you have been chosen. What the hell is going on? Why me? You are going to participate in the game. The memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. The nonary game. Huh. What the hell is a nonary game? God, God damn it! Choose the key on the zookase. It's not that key. What oh, the hell? That's the map. All oh, the entire game, all the branching story paths? Yes. Cool. So, the most important part about this game is that you have to play, like, different endings to get to the true ending. Right, which I really don't know to what extent we will do that. Because I don't, because I want to see the true ending, and it would be definitely be a full let's play if we did the true ending. But, um, I don't know how much of that I want to show on screen. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see. So, what should Look I use? the right side of the bed. Here. Yeah. Um, under the pillow. Aha! Thing! Memo from bed. What is bed trying to tell me? Huh, so you have a solid blue box and a open blue triangle. You have a solid red triangle, open red box, and an arrow. I have no clue what that could mean, but I have it now. So let's go back to the, this thing. Whoops. Oh, I didn't realize I could take that off. Okay. So I guess that's some kind of code, right? So I have both pieces of it now. What to do with it? Hmm. Well, what's on the top one on the left side? Oh, 
<laughs> Worth a shot. I don't know. You're just gonna have to look around a lot. Let's Hmm. Oh, here we go. This is a thing. Ah! Oh, a red suitcase that may use the red key. Aha. What? Please. Oh, dear. So, during your investigation, um... Your, or during an escape, your investigation may trigger one of several mini games. All operations for the mini game are done by touching the touch. No, they're not because I'm not playing it on the Vita. I'm playing on the PlayStation TV, which allows us to record it. So, I don't know the Um. Damn it, that always works. <laughs> Somebody better get that reference. Um, I have no clue. Yeah, I need to find some kind of... It has something to do with the damn notes that we have. Yeah, but they're incredibly cryptic. And if it wasn't like... Okay, so I totally didn't understand the whole North, South, East, West thing with that. So... Um, something with a screwdriver. Maybe look at the glass table. Like the table where the water's spewing out at, or inside the sink. Okay. Ooh. Look at the, at the sink. Let's select the picture. Oh, I can just take it. Okay. A. So you can combine items using triangle. And you can... There we go. And then the others will have the filled in ones. So I don't understand... I guess the line is for reference, so I understand that the... Um. Oh, okay, I gotcha. So, I feel like this should probably be written down or something. Um. So, looking at the top note, we know that it's two something five. Zero two eight five. Zero two eight five. Okay. And in the bottom one, we know that um, the bottom one is four three seven four six three seven four six three. Okay. 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 Uh. Okay, I get that. That's pretty cool. Let's go to the red case. So let's try, what is it, seven? Seven, four, six, three. Whoops, Oops. damn it. Damn it. Okay, not that one. Um, Zero, two, eight, five.
Really? Nothing? Unless I unless I did it wrong. I could have, because I'm Okay, so the top one is two five. Zero two eight five. So that one's correct. Top one is zero Look two eight five. Notes. What are you talking about? Look at them specifically. No, go, go to the other one. Hang on. They're upside down. Oh, that's so confusing. So... So that one's the one that we were like zero. So it's five. zero, we just have to figure out what the other two are. Okay. Because they're flip-flops, so they're not going to be the same. That's really, really aggravating. Cryptic metaphor! So... Two. And eight? Yeah. So five, two, eight, zero. No, because they're upside down. So it would actually be... Five, four, six, zero. Okay. Okay. Let's What's the other note so we can write it? I'll write it down. Oops. What it looks like, right side up. So is that the right way up? You think? Yeah, I think so. So that one we must have written down correctly, then, right? We can double check. Try the five four six zero. It only goes one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't go to zero. So that can't be it. So, what the fuck? <laughs> I oh, know. Oh, wait. Huh? What if we just use the red on both notes? Wow, this <laughs> game is already bullshit. So, what did we say this one was? For this one? Yeah. Okay. Is that the other one? Uh-huh. So then look at the legend. Right? Hang on, yeah. Okay, I got it. Seven, four, eight, five, and then for the red. And hopefully it's something right. So I am dyslexic. Seven, four. Eight, five. Oh, wait. Yes! Fucking finally! That was stupid. <laughs> Stack of red key cards. So you gotta. You got to uh, decrypt the the cryptic symbol message, and then you have to make sure you use only the right color. You got to combine the two notes together. I mean, and... that's gonna be the entire game, so it's clever, but it's it's dumb. Um, so I've read cards now. Yeah, but well, what do we do with them? One, two, three. Slide it on the what? Is a card reader other than oh, the door? The door. I guess we'd have to slide them on there. Maybe. <laughs> I 
More cards. It's my, uh... Maybe under the blankets? On the bottom bunk? Nah. About like a pair of simple chairs. Is those drawers behind me? It's like doom all over again. <laughs> that was an epic sneeze. Little blue one. Okay, so the other code is 0263. Okay. At least we got that part figured out. To the blue case. 02. Oh. Key. Dirt. 02. All right. A red file. No blue cards. Oh, what the hell are they? Okay. This is going to be extremely relevant. Oh, no. So, like, if you have one, two, three, and you add them up, the digital root is six. If you end up getting a whole bunch of them that equals 12, the digital root's going to be three because you'd add one plus two. It's going to be relevant. Okay. Get fucking ready. So, basically, I have to know that for the cards that I have. So, what do we say that it was? Oh, you're going to add 2 plus 3 to get 5. Is this even real math? Like... It's gonna be relevant for the game. You're gonna awesome. To, you're gonna need to get five because the door is five. Oh, the door is five. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. So we have six. What what numbers do we have? One and six. One through six. Well, it says, yeah, one through three, and then six through eight. Hmm. Not incredibly helpful. So we can figure out those roots just with the calculator. Seven. We'll get you a digital 
You said 1677? 167. There's nothing keeping me in here now! Open that door! Yay, it only took a half an hour. You found it! I'm glad I did it. Yeah, no kidding. Ow! Uh, my head! Wait, is it... Is it over? Whew. That felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. <laughs> okay. Well, better than drowning, I guess. Am I in a, a hallway? Oh. A door. Another door. Please don't be locked. Damn this water. God, let me go. Huh, yes. It opened. What? This looks what a lot hell? like the Titanic, actually, now. <laughs> this is the nothing. inside of a ship? Well... I think I should be concerned. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a... Uh... Wait, what the hell? A wave? Oh, a shit. wave? Shit! Okay, I, I gotta get out of here. Sea deck. <laughs> B deck. Hurry. Hurry. A deck's next. What? Hello. <laughs> people. People? Other living people. A lot of There's people. my husband, guys. There's your boy. <laughs> That's my husband. Um. I guess it's another one of us now. She's pretty. She uh, is pretty. I'm I love her. Dancer. No, I'm not. You better get moving. Oh, it's actually animated too. Yes, it oh, is. Oh, uh, well, okay. These are animated. The, uh, the DS was animated hair. as well. They just re touched it when they did the Vita. Yeah, because it's not super sharp, but I'll. <laughs> if it moves, I'll forgive it at least. <laughs> one of us. Their their uh, portraits are more are more appealing at least. What? Nothing. Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. All the names that are given are just nicknames that Junpei is thinking. Like, he's like, Wait, oh. hold on. The, the doors won't open? Come on! Aren't you coming? Take care. You gotta hurry! <laughs> She's 18. That's nine of She's them. legal. Prince. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, my name is Prince. All of the cards so. are in mm -hmm. hand. Wait! They're gone. Just what my heart is going on? It's like he's best boy. <laughs> better start using your code name. <laughs> an old man like a well, lion, they're, a girl they're gonna with start. pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. Huh? Question mark? Question mark? That's a great uh, nickname. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> what was that all about? Hey, what the hell are you just standing there for? I love Mountain. him too. Voiced by uh, Travis Willingham sounds like. Did you hear him? I have to look this uh. up. The doors on A deck are no good. <laughs> we gotta check the doors on B deck. Got it? Now go! Oh. <laughs> now she's gonna go check the dub cast for the game. Hey man, that was dangerous. Huh? I'm mostly curious about who Junpei is, cause like... Okay, could be familiar? Four. Yeah. And this one says... Five. They're the same. The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. You too, eh? My cell was the same. A number upon the door. I opened it, ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather grand room full of stairs, as I suspected the rest of you. Me too! Same for me. There was a door with a number on it. Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? <sighs> Open! Damn it! Fuck, it's not opening. This damn thing won't even budge. 
Out of my way. Evan yeah. Smith. Evan Smith was the voice of Junpei? Yeah. No clue who that is. A body slam from a guy that big didn't even budget. There must be some other way. This looks just like the device next to the door in that room time. earlier. So that means this door is probably locked too. It's okay. But still... It's okay not to know who it is. Damn it! Are there any other doors? And uh, Seven Mountain is Edward Bosco. Oh, interesting. Well, this is laying it on a little thick, isn't it? <laughs> like, obvious main character. Like, focus in on her because this, she is the okay, waifu. Okay, so she... Oh, yeah. You'll see. A careless whisper started to play for some reason. Uh, you will feel this a huh? lot. Is it me you're looking for? Oh my god. She is cute though, but I feel like I shouldn't trust her. I'm not commenting on any of this. <laughs> Nothing you say I'm going to confirm nor deny. Yeah. I like her. Oh my gosh! Is that you, Jumpy? There you go. Nah, as the jumpy. Jumpy! Uh, Akane. This isn't the Akane that we know. <laughs> this one was first, though. Yeah, I was gonna say, she's. it's probably a reference, but she's not built like a brick shithouse with massive tits. No. And could kick your ass. She could probably still kick your ass, but it's okay. Yeah. I'm like uh, Spike from Cowboy Bebop. I like the kind of woman that can kick my ass. Is that even legible? Can we even understand what he's saying? No. What? <clears throat> What's that voice? I mean, inviting is, is not knocking them unconscious and dragging them here. Yeah. That guy in the gas mask. We will wait for you no more. Up until now, it has been a game for us. But now we're coming for you. Hey, yeah! What the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. There's you always the he's the he's the uh, he's the Leon for this game. He's like I want to ah. punch I want to punch the mascot character. <laughs> There's always the one smug asshole that's like I'm too good for this shit. Let me get out of here. Yeah, we have played Danganronpa, uh, therefore we're familiar with the game. No, that's not what that means. <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, I know, I'm just breaking the fourth wall. We've no, heard no. you say that twice now. What the hell's that? What is he talking about? Hey, 
have something in my pocket. Check this out. Hey, I, I got one too. Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Um, he reminds me so much of fucking Bateau from Ghost in the Shell. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? On this ship, I think it's his we'll voice. find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. We will call them the numbered doors. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. So this thing on my arm is a bracelet. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave this ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. So this is dramatic reenactment. <laughs> Well, that's not nearly nine hours. Thank you. How generous. So much for a historically accurate reenactment of Titanic. He could only hire nine actors for it. It's the clock telling us the time. I was gonna make a smart ass joke. Nine time, so nine o'clock then? I think it's nine PM. Jesus, all the nines. I tried looking out the window earlier. It has to be nighttime. If that is the case, then we would need to escape by six AM tomorrow. It's gonna be a long night. What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! Ugh, that guy won't stop shouting. And the others. <sighs> hmm. <sighs> Pen. Whew. Uh, I have way too many questions. Who is Zero? What's the nonary game? What's it for? Is he some nut job just doing this to mess with us, or does he have some other purpose? Why pick me to be part of this insane game? And the others? Why are these eight people here? And the most confusing of them all. Why is Akane here? I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? Why now? Just roll with it. Coincidence? You get to be happy together. No. There's no way. There has to be a reason. <laughs> Michelle's know, shaking her exactly, head. But there has to be. Very well. Standing around here won't do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? Get moving? Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Hey, wait! But don't tell me you're actually gonna do what this, this zero says. No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm saying let's find another way. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. We... what? Where have we not looked? Everyone searched a deck already, right? Yeah, we were kind of in a rush though, so we probably missed some things. Why don't we check out the lower floors first? We should see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. Then let's go. Hell? It's 
completely submerged. Damn. If the water level keeps rising like this, we're all gonna drown. No, I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. See? The water's not flowing. That means the origin of the water has been stopped. Perhaps this Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. He said that our time limit was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. Then you're saying we won't sink till then. Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful thinking. <sighs> That's depressing. If we don't determine a way to advance from this point, we are stuck on A deck and C deck. It looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? So which deck is flooded? C. We might find something there. Huh, you're right. I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase too. They're pretty... No numbers on either door. And I don't see an authentication device either. Nope. It's locked. This one too. Damn, none of the doors are opening. Hey guys, over here. There's another door behind the stairs. <sighs> this one doesn't open either. We'll see about that. Hey, old man. Give me a hand. Using force, I see. Let's give it a try. If that's not the first solution to every problem. I mean, of course. Break everything. Start breaking shit. Could you not just when start hell, shouting start out of nowhere? Shit. You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. <clears throat> oh, sorry. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. Idiots. Try using your brain first. Huh? Take a closer look. A keyhole? Right. It's obvious what we need to open this door. <clears throat> a key, huh? You got a problem? No. I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. I mean, I found two keys pretty easily, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> What's you this? To find them. Right. There's a mark on it. D does it mean something? Hey, look! Over here, too! Hmm? More doors. I think they're elevators. There's an inverted triangle button by them. May as well try pressing it. Huh. Nothing. Maybe the power isn't on. Or we need to do something with this card reader. And there's a strange mark here, too. This one looks a little bit older and more decrepit, I guess. What is this? It looks like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. This is the symbol of Saturn. It's an astrological symbol. Hmm, good then call out. The mark on the other door. I think that was the sun symbol. Yeah, no, do you really look at it? I guess it is. We wouldn't have guessed that without that context being established, though, but... We saw the same sure. symbols on A deck. We did? I don't remember that. A deck, huh? huh. I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. We may as well check again since we're talking about it. Just give me that. There. Yeah. The two doors next to the stairs. The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. She's right. That is. It looks similar to what we saw. Downstairs. I don't know what that is. It's not the sun. This is an Earth symbol. Oh, I definitely. The horizontal that. line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. Oh. I see. Hmm. I forget some the of the fucking facts in this game. Yeah. Metal plates. Huh. I know it most of those icons, oddly up. enough, from playing duels, uh, Forbidden Memories, where you would have to assign a sign like that to every monster. Perhaps it was a but dome of some kind. It was a really stupid game mechanic. I wish we could get out through there. Be realistic. We'd need a lot of explosives to open that up. The yeah, that's too. your first instinct. Huh. Explosives, blow it up. In other words, we're trapped. All the exits go nowhere. Well, I'm sure they go somewhere. We just can't open them. You don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. No, I'm sure they go somewhere. 
Otherwise, what point would there be? And we can open them. Well, two of them at least. Oh, you mean the number doors. Hey, wait a minute. I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we should do that. We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. May as well give it a shot. We can't stay here forever. Yes, I'm in favor as well. No, I'm totally against this. But shouldn't we at least try? We don't know what will happen. We should stay here. And do we what? We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to I knew to a half hour had passed. Uh... Hey, shut up! Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. What's that? We need to exchange information. We don't know anything about each other. I want to know who you guys are. Who you are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Don't tell me you aren't curious too. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. Jumpy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junpei. We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. Wait, stop! How cute. Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. Zero's probably watching us right now. I mean, if it's anything like Saw, he's probably, like, our teamwork is actually what's going to allow us to survive as opposed to kill us off. What are you gonna do if he's listening in? Oh, would that be bad? Hell yeah, it would! We don't know how much that bastard knows about us. Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. If Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. Maybe he'd tell who us says he, he has hasn't already. to do stuff, you know? But we still need to know what our names are. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. All right, then why don't we have code names? Code names? Yeah, we'll each pick something. Like, I'll be seven. Seven? Why are you seven? I'm assuming you have seven on your watch. Yep. Yeah, this that bracelet would be... number says seven. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah. All right. It's okay. He can be you seven of nine. Up. No, you're not. Shut, shut up, up right now. You shut up. Any of you chumps know Japanese? No. Well, son means three. Fuck's so... sake. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just chill. Then your bracelet number. Yeah, it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. Very well then. I'll go you're, next. You're about to. My bracelet number is one. Given that, I think Ace seems appropriate. I'm fine with that. I'll be Lotus then. As I'm sure you all know, it has eight petals, which means, of course, that my bracelet number is eight. I would I'm okay appreciate with that. it if you would call me Snake. My husband. All right, Snake, we'll use your code name. <laughs> My bracelet number is two. Since Ace has chosen cards, then I choose dice. Snake eyes, clearly. Which is particularly relevant given that I'm blind. Yeah, he's blind and he see. kicks ass. Okay, so he's he's blind, code name Blind Snake, then. <laughs> code name Blind Snake. I knew We it. had Naked Snake, we had Solid Snake, we had <laughs> Venom Snake. <laughs> now we have Blind Snake. Me now. Want to be clover? Sure. You know, like a four-leaf clover. Good luck, right? Cause she's so lucky, guys. <laughs> All right, my number's five, so my code name is gonna be. Well, I have one. It's not like there's any point to it now. Yeah, we all know oh, your Junpei. Junpei. Know your name already. You're Junpei. Oh. Yeah. Uh, then you should all call me by my name too, because I mean, it doesn't seem. It doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. Uh, What's your bracelet number? It's six. All right then, uh, why don't we call you June? June? Yeah, you know, it's the, it's the sixth month of the year. So you're June. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Uh, yeah. Okay then. Okay then. <laughs> That's so this is how everyone breaks down. <laughs> Cute little thing. Yeah. One is Ace, two is Snake, three is Santa, four is- Santa. I'll never get over that. Okay. Five is me, six is June, seven is seven, 
<laughs> is Lotus. That means eight of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. The only one left is... That glasses guy with hair like a bird's nest. Yeah, where have you been this whole you time, weirdo? Things so far, have you? Uh, <sighs> what number are you? He's really freaking me out. He's fucking nine. Hey, I'm talking to you. Oh, we know he's nine, Isn't but it obvious there are nine people here, and you know who numbers one through eight are. I'm the only one left. So you're nine? Yeah. What's your code name? Uh, code name? What do you want us to call you? We all made up names. You should too. I don't need one. Why not? Because I am not going to stay here with you. Oh dear. There has to be here one There has to be one problematic character you in the whole cast. Plan? I do. Yeah? What's that? You sure you want to know? Yeah. All right. Let me show you. I'm going to do this. I'm gonna do the thing. Hey, what the hell do you think? What the touch? hell are you doing? <laughs> That's actually what was said. Ah. The look on his face—he looks like such a creeper. He if you creeper. get any closer, I'll cut her open. Uh, yeah, that's right. Clover, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? I told you. This is my plan. What are you gonna do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Don't worry. I'm not gonna do anything to her. If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. <laughs> Slowly. That's right. Just follow me. Here. Verify. <gasps> the left. Look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? Place your hand on the scanner panel, the round part. What if I don't? Are you an idiot? What do you think? I could slit your throat right now. I'll kill you if I have to. All I need is your bracelet. <laughs> Just do it. Do it now. Just do uh, okay. it. I'll do it. Like this. So that's how it works. He called that round part of the device the scanner panel. If we put our left hand on it, our bracelet number... I was hoping there was going to be like an opening device. cinematic we could watch and that would be the end of the first video, but it doesn't matter. It's yeah. not like it. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Door 5. But why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? It's like he knows exactly what to do. Maybe he's just good at the weird abstract math they're using. Good. Good. You're done. Next. You, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet, right? Yes. I am. So? Then you're next. Just verify your number like this little brat did. <laughs> what are you doing? Do it! Don't you care what happens to her? Okay, okay, just calm down. I'm coming over. Now, verify. All right, this is what you wanted, right? Now the device has both Clover and Ace's numbers. Four and one. Four plus one is five. It's the same as the number written on the door, but it won't open yet. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. One more person. If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. Who? Who does he need? Get back! No! Farther! More than that! Go all the way back! Okay. <laughs> Wait. Uh, don't tell me. Oh, his own? Mm -hmm. Clover. Well, shit. And added to the ninth man's nine. Four plus one plus nine is fourteen. And the digital root of fourteen. In other words. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you were all so cooperative. Now I can get out of this nightmare. Good. I don't need you anymore. 
<laughs> Wait! Here! She's all yours! Thank God. <laughs> Bye, bitch. Okay. I'm going off ahead now. Well, Goodbye! Don't. Clover! Are you alright? Don't. What? Yeah, Wait. I'm fine. Damn it! That bastard! At least see what happens, Sam. <clears throat> Open, damn it! <laughs> Shit! It won't budge. Do you hear something? Like what? Like some sort of beeping. You're right. I can hear it too. What is it? Why is it stopping? God damn it! You... you lied! Lied? This, this wasn't supposed to happen! This is wrong! This is wrong! What is happening in there? Open the door, please! I'm begging you! Help me! Please get me out of here! Get me out of here! Now, dude. Later. Oh, God damn you can't, it. anyways. Why? Why won't it work? Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? Uh, oh my god, oh my god. There's no time left. Listen, I was lied to. He lied to me. He put me in here. Oh, so I guess when you go in there, you had to play. He had to play a zero escape game, and no. Oh, you have to have everyone that puts their number in has to go through. Oh, okay. <sighs> a beep? Did that thing just make that sound? Um, the display changed from engaged to vacant. Let's see if we can open it. Okay. Well, it registered my bracelet number, but it won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. Nine and five. Or... One and eight. eight. Yeah. Ace, Lotus, you think you could give me a hand here? Hmm. Five plus one plus eight, the digital root of 14. One. This should do it. Now we just need to pull the lever on the side. You guys ready? Oh my God. Good God. Whoa, that's pretty bad. He, he blew up. Dead. Yay! Yay! We got rid of the Jim. worst character uh, first, just yeah, like okay. in Danger Rover 2. What the hell? Where'd this fever come from? Uh. All right, okay. Uh, let's just rest for a minute, okay? Uh, you think you can walk? Here we go. How are you feeling? Are, are you all right? Why? <laughs> Why did this happen? Yeah, no kidding. Do any of you know what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> nope. What's this nonary game? Come on! Anybody? Anything? What the hell is going on? What are we doing here? 